This is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. And the last time I did something for Toon Boom Studio, I was showing you a simple little trick on how to have a nice little semi 3D head turn here. Uh, so we have the face on one layer and the mouth on another layer. What I want to show you today, we're going to add a nose, but in particular, I want to show you how to use something called close gaps and how to actually have very large gaps in a little drawing and still be able to fill that. So I'm going to go ahead and add a nose here. Let's add another drawing layer. And we'll call this nose. All right, and going to grab my little paintbrush tool there and just going to draw out. Let's undo that. Find me a decent color here. Let's find black. And I'm going to draw out the nose there. Now, if you look, the nose is actually going over where the eye is. I'm not going to worry about that just yet. Uh, I do want to extend this out, though. So let's go ahead and right click and we want to extend the exposure and let's see we'll add a keyframe at the very first one okay I'm just simply doing a quick key of pressing the letter I and then by the last one let's grab my transform tool and let's move this to where it should be about there and let's scrub this just to see how it's going to look not bad. Uh, I think at the beginning, what I want to do is going to alter the nose, bring it down a little bit, and squish it in. Okay. So it actually does look like it's rotating. And bring it down a little bit more. Very good. All right. So enough about that. Now, if we look at this without it being selected, we're we're still cutting off a little bit there with the eye. All right, so this is where we're going to go ahead and color the nose and fill it in with a little bit of white. I'm going to do one last adjustment here. I'm going to move this just so you can see exactly how much work we're going to do. Move it up so it's covering the nose or covering the eyes a little bit more. All right, so that is done. Now, what I want to do is go to my paint bucket tool and you might be thinking, okay, well, yeah, we can just automatically tell this to uh, fill any kind of large gaps, but the, the big blank spot in the nose is very large. So what I want to do is go to stroke, okay? And what I'm going to simply do is draw exactly where the rest of this outline for the nose would be. Okay, so you can see that little blue line. I'm going to let go and I'm going to get an alert here. that says you've added a stroke to the drawing, but it will not show unless you activate show strokes in the view menu. Now, I normally keep this open because one, it's a nice reminder. And also I'm normally doing tutorials. So I want to show people uh, pretty much this is what you're going to see by default. So I'm going to click OK. Now, show strokes, let's go to view. And I'm gonna come all the way down to show strokes, which is just simply the letter K. So now I can see where the invisible stroke is as well as where the nose is, and that's just on this particular layer. So now I'm gonna go and select my paint bucket. And let's find our color, which uh, is just gonna be number seven. So I'm going to click and I've filled that in now. I'm going to press the letter K again to get rid of the stroke visibility. But now when we do that little head turn, that nose is covering up the eyes as it should be. So that in a nutshell is how I would go about doing any kind of closing uh, any large open areas. I don't trust the computer to do it because it's not going to put it where I want it to be. So I just normally use, it's, uh, again, under the paint bucket, just go to stroke. So this has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Remember, keep it simple, make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea. 
Have a good one.